video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a print called a Collegraph print using contact paper. So here's an example of one, very simple print. That's more abstract. This one is a print of a skull. And then we have this one that's also more abstract using different materials. So each one of you is going to be given contact paper to cut up and you are going to be putting it on what is called a matrix which we're going to be using clear transparency paper or acetate. First step, you're going to need to get masking tape. Write your name on the masking tape and put it on your matrix on the back. Make sure it's on the back. Then flip it over. Now I'll show you one that's complete before I start cutting out on that one. So this is a student's where they cut out just kind of random shapes from a circle, as you can see, and tape this to a plastic surface, rolled ink over it, and then this is what their print looked like. So that is what we are going to be doing. So once you have your matrix, I'm just going to start cutting out. And for sake of time, I'm just going to cut out some shapes to kind of give you an idea of what you're going to be doing. So something pretty simple here. I'm just going to cut out some triangles. Now, this contact paper, it's industrial. It's pretty thick. It's really nice. It's like a sticker. So you have to find the edge once you cut out your images. So you could write out your name. Um, if you do that, we need to talk about that too more if you're going to do letters. But you can draw out your design on this and then cut it out. It can be more intricate than this. But when you get to the point where you want to stick it down onto the matrix, you need to peel the paper away from the corner. And sometimes it's stubborn, so it helps to bend it a little bit. You kind of have to abuse the end of it to make it open up. But then you'll see here. Do you see how it's separating? And then the sticky side is what you want to start putting um, down on the acetate to create your matrix for your design. So I'm going to put this piece down. I think I'm going to put it right here, actually. You don't want to have a bunch of air bubbles in here, too, so you're going to kind of want to press it down as you go. As you see, my finger is still holding part of it up because I want to place it down slowly so there's not air bubbles. Okay, so you can put objects underneath. So I just took a paper clip. You can take wire. Um, you can also use yarn. You can use all kinds of things. Um, I took a paper clip and I kind of bent it. And I'm going to set it down right here. I'm going to put it right there. And then I'm going to peel one of these off. Gauze looks pretty interesting too. And I have some of that too if you want to use it. So I want this paper clip to stay here. So I'm going to place the, the tape, the contact paper over the top of it. It's a little tricky when you have something under it because it can create more air bubbles. So do this slowly and be focused when you're doing it because it can be, like I said, it can be challenging. Got a little bit of um, air pockets in there. You can also pull it back up a little bit and redo it. Sometimes it's kind of fun to just do thin strips too. So be thinking about the elements and principles of design when you're doing this. Uh, elements, line, value, shape, color, texture, size, space, form kind of, uh, and the principles, harmony, emphasis, balance, unity, variety, repetition, contrast, harmony. Repetition is one of my favorites to use. I'm trying to create a variety here for you. 
Again, that edge is sticking. There we go. All right, so now I have something to work with. This is a student example as well. They drew out this design. So you're going to be drawing out your design first before you're cutting into the contact paper. And then here's another student design that they thought out. That was pretty interesting too. And the prints for this one turned out really well. I'm sorry they don't have any to show you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a print off of the matrix that you created uh, with contact paper. So this is a calligraph print that we're doing. So you need to always do this, do your prints off of plastic something. Please do not do them directly on the table. So you need to get out plastic. You're going to tape your matrix to that. I'm going to put another piece on here on the bottom. So put a piece of tape on the bottom and the top. You can also go all the way around to make it smoother and there's going to be a line there as well. So you might as well make it all the way around. Okay. So then once you do that, you're going to need a brayer. This is a brayer. You can use two brayers for this or just one and I'll explain in a minute. So you have your brayer and you have block printing ink is what we're going to be using, the kind of ink that we're going to be using. You do not need very much ink at all. So you're going to use one of these trays, pour out a little bit of ink across the bottom. Again, you don't need very much at all. Make sure you put the lid back on as well. Set it aside, take your brayer, and kind of roll it across the surface. The purpose of this is to get your brayer inked up. Then inside this rectangle, you're going to roll the ink over it. And this dries fairly quickly, so you don't want to take all day about it, okay? You want to do it as quickly as you can. Set this aside. Always set your brayer this direction. Take a piece of paper. I'm going to use one of these ones. You are going to write your name on the back of the paper. Write your name on the back of the paper. Lay it down. There's ways to be more precise about this, but for what we're doing, this is going to work just fine. You can use your hand and rub across it if you'd like. Uh, if there's an extra brayer available, you can also just roll the brayer over it to get the print on the paper. But you got to be careful because you see how it picks up the ink onto the back of the paper too. Give it a nice rub. especially around this area where the metal is at because I want to make sure that print transfers. And then you can pull it up. And that's one print. You could also start mixing colors if you have primary colors. You know, you could put, like for example, I could put some red in there. Please ask before you start doing this, though, so I make sure I help you with this. So again, we're going to roll just straight over the top of this. If you start getting too many colors, it gets kind of muddy. There's also different ways to add texture. You could lay things down across here and block things out as well. So show you right here what I'm talking about. Put that over. Let's grab one of our pieces over here. 
So I can put this triangle right, this piece of plastic right here. And then I'm going to take that same paper. It's nice, you, you normally are going to want to wait till this dries completely before you do this, but lay it back down. Same thing. You can offset it a little bit and it kind of has a shadow effect sometimes too. So you see how I was able to block that out, the triangle out. And of course you're going to come up with something more fascinating than this. This is just me quickly trying to show you um, the process. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to mount it to black paper. It's a little hard to see because I'm doing black on black here. But after you're done with your print and it's dry, you're going to mount it to black paper. So for this, we're just going to use a glue stick. We don't want anything introduce anything to, uh, like wet glue because it might affect the print on the other side. So it's really important to make sure that you get the corners of this and the center. So flip it around. Leave a little bit of space at the bottom because you're going to sign your name on here. Okay. Use a white color pencil and then I'm going to put example, but you're going to put your first and last name at the bottom. Okay? We're done.